What's wrong? Ah, <sighs> Adele. Miki isn't with you? Nope. Just me. <laughs> I see. So, having trouble sleeping? <sighs> wow. Outer space is so full of mystery. <laughs> I agree. Before this, my whole world was Rasulia, but now, it's filled with places I never even imagined could exist. Mine was even smaller. The research facility where I was raised was the only thing I knew. Thank you so much, Fidel. Hey now, what's gotten into you all of a sudden? If you hadn't found me, I wouldn't be who I am now. I'd still be that lifeless tool of destruction. That's why I want to thank you for keeping me safe all this time. I didn't do anything. It's all you. No, you did help me. And now I need you to help my sister. Please, give her some of your strength. I know it's selfish, but this will be the last thing I ever ask for. That's certainly not a selfish thing to ask for. Nor does it have to be the last. I want to help her too. You have my word. We'll get Furia back. Hey! That's not enough. Your pathetic policies cannot save Kronos. Why can't you see that you're dooming our people to be Federation slaves? Starting a civil war serves only to deplete our national resources. Have you no backbone? A craven fool like you has no right to rule us. There's nothing more here to discuss. All that's left is for us to crush the Federation and Kronos' lapdog government. I'm sorry I couldn't do better, Captain Kenny. If we haven't convinced him by now, I doubt we ever will, Mr. President. The only option we have left is to engage them. Indeed. I knew it would come to this. In that case, sir, could you please order your ship to retreat to a safe distance? I'm confident we can handle the fighting ourselves. Thank you, and best of luck. Captain? Three of the enemy ships look to be going on the offensive. Got it. All right, people. Time to get this operation underway. In the name of galactic peace, we are going to head into battle against the rebel Kronos forces led by General Alma. Fidel, your group will do what it needs to help the sisters. Understood. Okay, now open an audio link between our ships and the Kronos governmental forces. Audio link is now established. This is Emerson T. Kenny, captain of the Pan-Galactic Federation ship Charles D. Gold. My vessel will serve as the Kronos Governmental Forces flagship, as directed by the Federation Central Command and Kronos's President Mutal. It's up to every last one of us to ensure Kronos remains at peace rather than plunges into chaos. So let's go out there and give them hell. Kenny, over and out. Time to get this operation underway. Set a course. 90 Mark 135. What's the damage for both sides? Our shields deflected the entirety of their attack. No damage to report. One governmental warship has been destroyed. Another has taken heavy damage. Two more, enough to render them inoperable. Only one rebel ship has sustained heavy damage. Should we pull back and rethink our strategy? As a soldier, you should know that giving the enemy more time here would be fatal. We can't withdraw now. Maybe so but continuing to fight would only increase our losses. 
Excuse me, Captain. If I may. I know that, but it doesn't matter. We'll have to go right for General Alma then. Fairy is the only thing fueling their resistance. Therefore, if we defeat Alma and get her back, they'll lose their reason to fight. That's easier said than done. Alma's most likely barking orders from the safety of their base, situated on that large asteroid. The shield around it will make an approach impossible. Actually, it just might be feasible. While we were traveling to this sector, I was able to analyze a portion of the data on space-time symbology we accumulated. I theorize that if Relia were to use her power, we could manipulate space-time in such a way that it neutralizes their shield. With practice, it could likely even disable the whole thing. Her current skills, however, should suffice. We can likely still negate a large enough portion of the shield to pass through. In short, going after Alma directly is well within the realm of possibility. But... I don't know if I can control my powers well enough. I'll offer what support I can by analyzing her psi waves. Come on, Relia. Let's go save Faria together. If I can save my sister, I'll try hard to get it right. Emerson, please get us ready to infiltrate their base. Can do. Let's go. Delacroix, prepare to transport us to the coordinates we got from President Mutal. Sir, you have a fleet to command. You can't just go running... Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, Delacroix, but General Alma calls. Don't worry. You'll do a great job in my stead, First Officer. Deck 2. Transporter. Just think, if you could succeed at manipulating space-time, completely nullify shields, you'd be invincible. I assume that is exactly why Kronos was researching the ultimate script in the first place. For them to engrave something so terrifying on a small girl. The technology probably won't work unless they use a living being. Thank God it was Fidel. What about him? It's good that he was the one Rilia opened up to out of everyone. <sighs> Agreed. To start, we'll neutralize the shields. I'm ready when you are. How'd it go? Think it'll work? Not right now. Something seems to be disrupting Relia's field. My sister, she... It would appear that Faria is currently emitting a field of her own. What if we use a shuttle to get closer while Relia has her force field up? Do you think that would help her neutralize Faria's field? According to the scanner, the field's effects deteriorate quadratically with distance. Thus, the closer Relia is to her target, the more likely she can cancel it out. Still, though, exposing a weaponless shuttle to the enemy's phase cannons is too dangerous. It may be dangerous, but there's no other way. I know I can do it. I'm okay. Ned looks like the bravest member of our team is also the smallest. Indeed. The shuttle's in the cargo bay. Let's hurry. Kenny, to the bridge. The bridge here. Need a favor. As long as it isn't anything absurd. We're gonna use a shuttle and fly right into the enemy's home base. Absolutely out of the question. It's too dangerous. Too bad for you, but we're gonna do it. I request that next time you take me instead of Lieutenant Patriciani. Also, if I may speak freely, sir, I'm quite shocked that I don't get to accompany you to the grand finale. I'm sorry. It's all right. In the meantime, I'll keep the Kronos governmental forces thinking you're aboard this ship. Go give General Alma the old what for, sir. 
I owe you one. Ship's all yours. He's a good man. He is. But he does have one glaring fault. What? That he has me for a superior officer. Never a truer word spoken. I'll be in charge of the helm. Bridge to the captain. What? I've uploaded a projected route to your shuttle. Please take a look at it. How thoughtful. You prepared to start, Relia? You'll have to keep your signaturgy activated the whole time, but can you do that? I can. Good girl. You're not alone. We'll get through this together. Yep. I'll open the doors for you. Thanks. We're ready for takeoff. Our field's about to come in contact with Farias. First, concentrate solely on this one finger. Okay. Now, sync your breathing with mine. This is amazing! Uh-oh. What's wrong? There's a hole in the shade of the furthest rock back on the right. He's right. By all accounts, the thing looks to be a man-made structure. You have a good pair of eyes on you, Victor. The King's Chosen often operate at night. Is this a setup? Let's take the plunge. 